Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at another Is This Pistol Still Relevant video. I love this series. I have a ton of comments that come in and a lot of them are so valid and it's so vital to the channel because the viewers on this channel are very well educated with firearms. The last one we did was the Ermox Defense X-Fire. Now the X-Fire is a Glock pattern handgun that is a bit different. Now a lot of people said, you know, another Glock pattern handgun. That's all we need is another one. Well, that's what the Ermox Defense X-Fire is, but it has an aluminum frame, fiber optic sights, a flat trigger, cutouts in the slide, and a couple sets of grips. It takes the 15 round Glock mags and it offers quite a bit in the case. Now, you look at this and say, I don't know, but it's also budget priced. And I've noticed a lot of the Glock pattern handguns are budget priced. And this one you can pick up right around 360 to 380 with an aluminum frame, a flat trigger, and it sounds like I'm trying to sell the gun as something awesome, but when I experienced it, I didn't shoot it very well. And I said, you know, I'm, I'm kind of impressed with the features, but I didn't shoot it well. I am not putting that on the Ermox Defense X-Fire. I'm putting that on me for not putting my time in. However, it just wasn't hitting with me, all right? Both with the impacts and with... The way it felt in my hand. The trigger kind of pinched my finger with that trigger tab in there, but it's a budget priced Glock pattern handguns or handgun, and a lot of people liked it at first, but then it sort of died off. You just didn't hear much about it. The feedback I got was pretty cool. Some people said they changed out the trigger spring, they made it lighter. Other people modded theirs up a bit and made it a little more tactical than it already is. And the fact that they all come optic ready is certainly a bonus with the Ermox Defense X-Fire. So, a mixed opinion with the comments that I received. However, today we are featuring something a little different. Now, this is a Rock Island Armory. I don't even think the camera's picking that up, but that's what it is. And what is it? It is a 1911, but this one is different because... I've said on multiple occasions, and I stand by it, I am a fan of 1911s. This is a TAC Ultra, Rock Island Armory TAC Ultra, has all the makings of an excellent 1911. It is chambered with 10 rounds, the mags don't drop free, 10 rounds, and it also comes in 9mm with a 9mm barrel, 9mm recoil spring, another 10 round mag, Okay, so far, pretty awesome. However, this one is different. Why is it different? Does that look like a 45 ACP barrel? It's a crown barrel. It shoots a 22, but not a 22 long rifle or a 22 magnum. It shoots 22 TCM. And that is the draw with this. Now the 22 TCM bottleneck round, a little more powerful than the 5.7 by 28 millimeter moves fast 40 grain bullet nice round it's just not available locally now it costs a little less you can buy it online which you essentially have to but it costs a little less than the 5.7 but it never quite took off because what really took off was the 5.7 by 28 millimeter but if we look at this tac ultra it has the g10 grips i think i changed these out to this color the 10 round magazines it's got a real light recoil spring, has a fiber optic front sight, nice forward serrations, a full pick rail. It has that sweet 1911 trigger with the reset right there. Everything checks the boxes for a quality 1911. And with the 9mm barrel, you're all set. So it is convertible to 22 TCM or 9mm. But I want to focus on the 22 TCM. Is this still a relevant pistol? If it were only chambered in 22 TCM, would you be interested in that or are you more interested in the 5.7 or are neither of these bottleneck rounds of interest to you? 
I actually enjoy 22 TCM. What I don't like, however, is the lack of ammunition availability. I don't like it that Arms Corps is the only company that produces it, and for the most part, the only company that produces 22 TCM firearms. Okay, you can get a Glock drop-in barrel and go through that rigmarole if you're into that with 22 TCM, but for the most part, you have to get something like this, a Rock Island Tac Ultra conversion with 22 TCM 9mm. Is this pistol still relevant? Are you interested in it? Is it something that you say, you know what, if I had a chance to pick one of those up for a fair deal, I would do it because that round moves fast, it's loud, huge muzzle flash, offers a lot, and for varmint hunting, it would be perfect. So what are your thoughts on the 22 TCM 1911? Are you interested in it? Is it still relevant or is it a piece of crap and you have no interest at all because that round is too hard to find and it just doesn't do it for you. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.